But did you actually watch the Arsenal game before you comment on how good uh, or bad we are? You know what the, the Arsenal game... Not seen no, we weren't that great, mate. No, I know we, we I've only seen, I was watching the Albion. So we weren't great, highlights. but it was weird. We weren't great, but we also never looked like we were going to ever concede. Uh, that's, Apart from that one That time. is waffle. Apart from that one time. Twice? One time. Twice. Yeah, yeah, one, one, time. I had two stingers. One, one time. The thrawl one time, really made me question right everything. Line. One time. I don't know how the... Is his gloves just really sticky? Count. <laughs> what do you think his dad's thinking? <laughs> Stop being hard. Also, I don't. I don't want to like perpetuate the narrative because obviously, I'm an Arsenal fan. And perpetuations. Have you uh, have you seen the Arteta interview afterwards? Where he's like, "Oh, team played amazing. Team played amazing." And then the interviewer goes, "Yeah, but Ramsdale kept his first clean sheet. How do you like that?" And he's like, "The team was really good. I'm really happy with the team." And it just doesn't address it at all. Oh. So I don't he... think that's too good. It seems like he's been a bit of a dick if I'm honest, isn't he? Oh, I think he just he's Ram, just to, not Rams, having... to Ramsdale. Do you remember yeah, how, how, yeah. how uh, Pep was with um, Joe Hart? Yeah. It's like, why are you doing that. that for? Like, it's like he's avoiding he's, everything to do with him now. He's just not he's having him. But what's he done wrong? Like that's been shit. He's not. No, no but he's just I, had see, unreal this is what I think. This is what I think. I he think there's, there's more. There's shit. more to it because you can't. He hasn't. You, you don't get this much much of a cold shoulder just from playing badly. I don't think. Yeah. Because he hasn't even played badly. I think. I think. He has this season. He hasn't. I don't know where this narrative. He's not. He's not. He's not. Last season he was the second. In he, Golden Glove, literally right. He was very good last season. This season, he's been bad. Come just on, just come to Newcastle. We'll we'll treat him right. We'll Why take do you need him when you got Pope? Pope's getting on. Ramsdale, come <laughs> to Newcastle. On. This is an uh, official <laughs> plea. Ra Ramsdale's going to come at the end of the season. We'll take care of him properly because Arsenal will be. Also, awful. we now have the most versatile player in the entire Premier League, Kai Havertz. Yeah, <laughs> <They anyway. laughs> went from playing left back in international Germany. break to left wing slash left. I'm so happy for the guy, man. For he deserves Arsenal. that winner. He really mm. does. Yeah. We deserved that winner as well. What do you think of the Trossard offside, by the way? Uh, I think well, they, they did it off the ball, didn't they? Which they said they wouldn't do. So, I, 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 I don't think... I don't know. It, it is offside technically, isn't it? Yeah, do you know, yeah, do you know what I want? I think it's bullshit. I, I think if you have to take that long, drawing lines, he doesn't, um, he doesn't gain advantage, does he? What's the... no. It's offside was brought in to stop players goal hanging not 10 yards offside not if he's fucking knob was a little that's why we need the Wenger rule that, yeah I was about I've to say heard, the Wenger yeah. rule man mate I love it the entire body has to be offside yeah but that yeah. would still no, but it would less still cases. happen the other way there but, be no, less, less cases because most cases like the Wenger rule like rule on side it's only like the very rare yeah, but scenario then, where but the then boot, you'd get but then just you'd, people's but, toes on side yeah but that happens so much less rare where someone's that far off but it, do you, it, do you, I, I understand yeah because why people, people want, are trying not to be offside I understand why people want it but wouldn't all that do is just create the margin of error a little bit further forward yeah Yes, that's it. That's all. This, oh, it's more clear yes. though. It's it's more clear. It has to, if there's it any, it is. It is. Exactly it is. The same. Do you think I prefer, I, I, I prefer that rule? But it's exactly the same. Yeah. It's Do you think it would enable more goals though? Yeah, yeah. I prefer the rule, but yeah. it's still exactly the same. Now, nah, because you're that, still gonna have people outstretch their whole body other than just their fucking ass pube, yeah. and then they give it on, and everyone will be like, "Whoa!" Yeah, but having a definitive end of your body rather than like your shoulder or oh, where's the shoulder there or blah blah blah. Like, that's a definitive. No, because there's a that's not definitive. On the just shoulder gap instead of, but there'll be more goals. Yeah, but it'd be more exciting. It's definitely better than what the what we're doing now because it's doing. No, we heading. just need semi automatic. Works at the great. Moment. Yeah, it works great in uh, Champions League. Yeah, everyone's just arguing over who's like the biggest victim in the Premier League at the yeah. moment. It's just like it does me head in. Yeah, and like, Arsenal oh, fans. Is it, are, is it no, because this week you, won, you don't get to moan? <laughs> <laughs> also, guys, guys, guys. <laughs> In the City Liverpool game, yeah, I don't want to keep bringing it up. I don't, but I'm gonna to have to. Oh yeah, I yeah. You're Th gonna... That was not a foul on Allison. No, 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 no. It was a goal. Yeah, it wasn't a foul on Allison. If that's a foul, we uh, should we should uh, let, let's go back and yeah. replay Arsenal Newcastle. No, yeah, but we... you're going the wrong way. Oh, the Newcastle no, we... was the right decision, and that that one is the wrong decision. So you actually agree with me? That I agree. That yeah. isn't a foul, and that's why Newcastle should be on. Yeah. Yeah, so well, let's go back to play the, the game the, again. The incorrect decision. No, no, no. no, 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 no he no, means, he means, that, he means, Man City, he means that Man City should have been given the points yeah. as opposed to... The Man City to, was the wrong decision. You're actually backing his point off. Fuck, am I? Yeah, yeah. you, yeah. you yeah. actually yeah. agree with... You said this on the stream and I was really yeah. confused. I was like, you're agree agreeing with me. Yeah. But the problem is I... He agrees that should have been a foul. Yeah. Basically, you th so, so, so consistency no, he, should imply he, he, that he because it wasn't a foul on Gabriel, foul. it shouldn't have been a foul on Allison. Yeah. So the goal should have stood. That's what the he Newcastle decision was the, right, the, and that the was wrong. Is, He's saying is both that, goals should have stood. Yeah. But the difference is, hey, the difference is, keepers get 
He gets treatment. Yeah. Well, no, the diff- well, what's funny I is... Keep so annoying. So what's funny is, considering that Man City is so corrupt and they've got all the refs on their side, everyone was very quiet about that decision all weekend. <laughs> yeah. All I've heard is how brilliant Trent was or whatever, but... And how, oh, what a great result for Liverpool. No one's mentioned the fucking... Also, the players didn't even... And then Nathan Ake in the, in the post-match interview was like, yeah, well, it happens sometimes. Yeah, he's and- not a bitch. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're not Man City players aren't bitches. They don't come out and moan. No, get on with it, and they because they, they're no, winners. That's not the case. They, yeah, is they come out next week? The and, case. Uh, is, the difference is the difference they're not is, victims. Di- and no, they're winners. You're an aggressive man. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is when it's to do with the keeper. The, the, suddenly everything goes out yeah. window. Oh. It is, mate. If that, if that was on a player, then they would be uproar. I'm remember, telling you this now. The, keepers get special Fulham treatment. Had, remember the goal, the goal they scored against Fulham, and even Harlem was like, "Yeah, it should have been oh, offside." The where Ake was stood yeah, in an offside yeah. position. It went then Ake came legs. out the other day and he's like, yeah, well, he's one of them. We, we get they're, they're winners, mate. They come out, they get on with it and next week they just go and win. That's what they do. They don't, well, they don't the, fucking the, the cry all week and no, go, no. everyone's against us. Mate, the we're such victims. The Newcastle victims. goal, there was yeah. three things. This and was one thing on the enough. keeper. One thing yeah. on the, obviously, they're not going to fucking say anything. It was on the keeper. No one's allowed to touch the keeper this day and age. Bollocks. This clip is brought to you by our friends over at Super 6. This year, Super 6 Christmas rollovers are coming to town jingle jingle that's right it means every saturday until until christmas our friends over at super six are rolling over their two hundred fifty thousand pound jackpot if it isn't one so potentially it could reach a whopping one million pound on 23rd of december what a christmas present that would be a million quid come on you can also compete against myself reva and tom on the official super six mini league use the code ptch23 to join up we'll also be giving away a hundred pound classic football shirt voucher every round it's super simple just predict your six scores enter your golden goal hit submit and you're all set so simply follow the link in the description down below to sign up now yeah also the Newcastle one was right oh shut up man they literally went through they are actually such winners that they drew the game that's true and they're second we know (laughs) well they got they got cheated out of the win really didn't they but but they're they're getting on with it because they're winners that's how winners respond oh you're so irritating why you're so jarring why though yeah you are jarring explain why Kai Havertz is a Champions League winner yeah he's going to win us the Premier League and also Trent Alexander-Arnold is the best right back of the world Fucking deluded. That's crazy. He scored from centre mid. Did you see all the Liverpool accounts? He's, a bit, he's top five midfielders, right? <laughs> yeah. No. He can't, it, how can he but be But did right? you see all the Liverpool accounts saying, where's your Rich James now? Oh, yeah, man, I, yeah, so yeah. I, got I had Newcastle so fans yeah, DMing me. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe you had Reese James a bit. And I'm like, what? He got potted, like, like. As good as... as good. No, Gordon rin- rinsed him, but I mean, that's the first player I've seen in a good while have a good game against Reese James. As good as, uh, as, good as Trent was. Oh, but hang on. I, Sorry to cut you off. Reese James is unlucky not to have his neck snapped, mate. The fact he's not been taken to mate, the ICU the ball, from right. Joelinton got the ball is right. is outrageous. Mate, we're bringing proper football back. That's the, we're bringing football. back the proper the good American years of football. Footy. Yeah, <laughs> it's only a little, you know, clothesline. It's all right. And she's so biased. It's unreal. <laughs> um, up. No, the, the, I feel like this, the the shining light from that game was Trent's boots. They're very nice, yeah. The new unreleased Predators, man. They are fucking... Also, his goal was class. I, I, I don't take nothing away from it. His goal was so well taken. Nobody no took anything away anything from it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> about in this air. Uh, he was the most dribble pass player in history. If you've seen like the dribble pass <laughs> thing, it's like fucking... <laughs> Whatever. What was it? it was like in pre- this Wait, season Trent, or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, Trent is the most dribble pass player It was something ever. like in that game. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, but, yeah like, a Doku had 11 out of 15 successful like, dribbles. If you see the if you see the clips, he wasn't like being dribble pass. No, there was no M product he like knocked it past him and there was a few yeah, where he did get ringside so like he got megs couple, in that yeah. but I thought Trent dealt with him as good as he could have yeah, really yeah. But. also what was the whole Nunes Pep thing about by the way no I, Nunes is just like a loud mouth isn't he for no reason I think, he's a, bit, I think he's a bit deranged <laughs> 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 he is I know it's like Klopp and Pep obviously like kissed each other and, as they always do yeah, like, yeah, yeah. a little quick shag and something and then Nunes obviously got jealous yeah, and he came yeah, over why are you doing with my manager yeah. he's getting jealous uh, it's it was <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but he'd, he would, he'd been subbed for about 25 minutes so I have no <laughs> idea why he's decided to just come back on again um, <laughs> uh, let's go to another team in the room or should I say not in the room because they're fucking shit uh, Spurs uh, are they in the room? I, I thought you were going to bounce to Newcastle yeah, but that meant yeah t- okay fair enough third defeat in a row it's you know not what? surprising I'll, they've I'll, lost they've, they've yeah. lost their two best players naivety I think that is you, honestly you guys better start getting in shape because you know, the end um, of the season stream is going to be a freaky I was, I was actually impressed with them first half I don't know if you watched it I thought they played really they well they actually were really good <laughs> they should have had about three goals yeah I mean Kulisevsky missed a sitter but yeah, yeah. I, I said I actually, Son scored two 
three yeah. actually. He's got three. Yeah, I've he's said, three um, <laughs> he's got, <laughs> I have him. Like yeah, FPL. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Villa are just very, a very good team at the minute. Spurs just classic Spurs. I thought no, this was all of them. No, 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 Spurs. No, have, they've got no have players. Suffered man. with they played of in a ben see they, Ben Daly. This is centre off. They had no centre backs. They literally no. They do have a centre back. He's on the bench. He's called Eric Dyer. No, no. But I mean, no. Say that Eric Dyer that you're playing two fullbacks at centre back. Yeah, because he's not quick enough. And yeah. against Villa, who obviously like a he transition still play team. Centre back, though. Come on, man. Not the, way, not the way he wants to They've play. They played Emerson right? Royale and Ben Davies at centre. But not Thiago Silva's not. Quick. There's lots of teams who have injury they problems. Like Chelsea. Like they're, they're, not, they're not playing under Ange. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? I'll say Chelsea, United, Newcastle. There's lots of teams who have injury problems. I don't like. I don't think that's no, you, a clean. No, but they're, they're, no, they, they have no it's extra like football. It's like Arsenal losing Saka and Saliba. Yeah, it's like and Arsenal. No, it's yeah. like Arsenal losing Saka, Saliba, Rice. Yeah, fucking uh, your four uh, best players. Yeah, it's like Arsenal losing Saliba and Saka and, and Rice. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, but what happened when that happened? You just bottled the league. That's not, fair. That's, that's not fair. That's not fair. I didn't just say Saliba, though, did I? No, but it's very it's similar. Very what, it's oh, very similar. Guy it's it's very similar. He's up there as the best I, what, defender in the I Premier League. And ten, we lost him last season. I think and they've then we got didn't ten win. players out and eight of them are like First legit team. starters every week. <laughs> yeah. So think, but and also, they still played well. Like they, they were still playing their way. They're just at the minute not good enough at the back. To, they're almost like they're missing like a clinical striker. No, they've got Son. With Villa, they were. What? Hmm? They were missing a clinical striker against Villa. And it, who? Son. Kane. Oh, no. Son's No, 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 Son's no, 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 no. Like A couple of opportunities. Yeah, they're all offside. <laughs> if you're clinical, you say onside. Also, yeah, but the wing had a header, which could have done better. Yeah, yeah, Pulisewski. he missed the ball. Yeah, but that's not his Pulisewski, fault. Yeah. That's not a striker. You need better wingers in that situation, don't you? A Villa in the title race. Are we willing to apologise? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're so high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're really, really Definitely. nice. Two points off the top. Yeah. They're re- I don't care. Well, why, are you just holding it fact that the Villa against I don't think them? they're in a title no. race, but they're definitely in the top four race. Top five? I don't see why not. I think if you're two points... You honestly think Aston Villa will win the league? You're two, no, I didn't say that. I said they're in the race. Well, no, you're two points off at Christmas. Race, then you honestly think they'll win the what? league? You're two why points would off you a... partake in a race if you don't think you can win? Yeah, they, co- they could win. That's, I that's don't think very they... strange okay, logic. About this, that's right? like saying yeah, hundred... I'm in a 100 metre final should... in the Olympics, but I'm not going to win, so... No, there's a 100 metre dash. I think this person will win, but they're all in the race. To be considered to be in a title race, you have to legitimately think they have a shot winning the title. Yeah, that's they have correct. A, of course they have a shot. But I just said, you just said no. I don't think they will, but they have a shot. There's there's five he's people in a race. There's five people in a race. I think you saying Bolt's going to win, but the rest can win because yeah. they're in the race. He's got, he's, I am. But the two points off the top and, and yeah, I hate the fact that because, they're, because Aston Villa, it's like, oh, no, nah, they're not in. No. no so what they're they're all right, realistically, what percentage do you think Aston, if, if this scenario is played out a hundred times, how many times would Aston Villa win the Premier League? Five percent, I'll give them. You think they would five think they'd out of hundred? Five out of hundred. From, from here this on position. out, you think they'd win five out of hundred? Five out of hundred, yeah. That's fine. Well, when they lose Douglas Luiz to Arsenal in January as well. <laughs> nah, because you'd be below them at that point, would not you? <laughs> oh, you're so annoying. But then we get then we get their best player. <laughs> nah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Villa no. are definitely in a, in, in, a, in a top four race, but I wouldn't say they're in a title race. Really. They've definitely Realistic, got a good, got a good look, chance look, of finishing look top four. Look what happened when everyone says Spurs are in a title race. They're out of it instantly. They are bothering me, Villa, because they're really realistically yeah, they're going for our spot. And like, they need to fuck off That's a bit. Yeah, but do, do you remember when you said there's no chance of that happening because you beat him 5-1 at the start of the season? <laughs> and we, we said, no, it was a fluke result because Villa are actually good or... Different. No, Villa, I have always said Villa are good. That's Shut a lie. Up. That's actually I've a lie. I've always said Villa are good. You, said, what the you fuck? said they were shit because you battered them in no, the first game. No, this is bullshit. I said at the start of the season that Villa had a better squad than Chelsea that's and the, you no, two were no, going no, no, no. on. Yeah, okay, we grant that, but that's a completely unrelated point to you saying that Newcastle are way better than Villa. We are better if than Villa. If you think that they're a competitor against Newcastle, surely they're as good as you. We are no? better than Villa, but I don't know if you realise, we have 11 players out, so it's like, and we're playing oh, so Champions let me get this League. It's an excuse for you lot, but not an excuse for Spurs. Yeah. Well, we have European football on hand so? as well, so it's like right. a bit more of an issue. So? And w- I'm sure we're missing more players than Spurs. It's not fucking you miss them, we miss them. It's not we, we, we are missing more long-term injuries and have more games to play, so it's more of an excuse for Newcastle. You're not missing the level of player they're missing. I think that's harsh, like. We've well, already Madison, got, you've, got, you've got players as good as Madison no, the out, as good as Van the, the importance to the team... We can only compare it to the importance that Baku, that player has to the team. Who? The importance to the team. Madison's probably the most important player in Spurs. You can see the difference when they play without him and with him. 
Yeah. Or not, or does that not matter? No, I agree. So they've got more so important both. players out. <laughs> no, we have more. We have we have Botman gone. We have Isaac gone for ages. Wilson's out. He's Isaac's back now. Yeah, so Botman. Who else? Isaac scored Isaac's at the weekend. Yeah, but he's been out as well. Okay, who's back? Who's out? Then. I have to go through the injury list. We're oh, right. oh you big we're ones missing, then. Listen, big ones. If you need to research it, Tonali's out. You know I'm right. How you? How? No, I. Disagree. You have not got more big players out than Spurs no, at the minute. Yeah. Okay. You know, they're, two, they're two starting centre okay, offs. We, <laughs> we did disagree. Madison, <laughs> Bissouma. Yeah. yeah, mate. I'm not. I'm saying we are both teams. So I'm missing them. very key important players. So name them. I'll go. No. I'll search it now if we want to wait on it. How do you not I, I, know? I, 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 I've not... just said to you. No. Botman's been gone. Yeah. yeah. Tenali's out all season. Okay, Isaac's so yeah, been right, out. Right. He's on yeah, his game. So out. Wilson's been gone. Isaac's back. How many right. more names do you want? Isaac's no, back. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll mark up one to one. Van der Ven, Botman, because I think that's a fair comparison. They're very similar. And then Andrew Mero on top. Where's where? Who's the who's the Madison comparison? Is Shar out? No, he's not. So we're missing Tonali, Jacob Murphy, Dan Byrne, Callum Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Murphy versus James Madison. You think that's I'm, fair? I'm, I wouldn't make that a direct comparison. I'm just listing all the players we have out. Oh, yeah. Ellie Anson, Sven Botman, Harvey Barnes, Lewis Hall, Sean Longstaff, oh, Kraft, yeah. Willock, Mankio, Batarga. Oh, 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 that's a good I, I, that's like, the I majority think, of, the I think fo- even, of the team. What even are you talking all about? Those, all those names you've mentioned, if you combined all eight, you're just shy of James Madison. <laughs> <laughs> you some mental. We had three keepers and three youth players and then Matt Ritchie on the bench. And but you've got Lewis Miley, Miley, man. That's, that's, because, that's because, stupidly, you didn't buy more depth in the summer. But, there's no if you can't accept that no, we're no, both no. missing okay, key so players name, what, what players who would start week in week out are out Tonali Botman Longstaff I'll give Murphy. you Longstaff Murphy Longstaff Murphy Murphy, Murphy was starting over well it's 50 over Almiron it's 50 who plays 50. every game it's 50 no it's not he's the most underrated winger in the, in the league Murphy's been injured so he's starting every game Murphy Mate, was Spurs getting have the got more and more, they've got more play, they've got more first team players out than you've and started thing, we, we brought it Richardson? way more than Spurs as well <laughs> no one's we even mentioned Richarlison precisely <laughs> yeah. Richarlison but like you're, you're just like disregarding the fact that we have like one senior player who's outfield on the bench and we've got European football and you're comparing to Tottenham saying Tottenham have it worse no, no, no. We, all we I'm were doing, saying, we were doing is showing you that your logic for one applies to the same. I you agree. Said Tottenham to... have an issue. Lewis, but at Newcastle the, at, the, issue. at the end of the, the day, let's all have a pity party for Newcastle. It's, it, their problem's worse. Though. I'm saying you're using that excuse, excuse for Tottenham. Newcastle have, done, have the same issue, if not more. Hey, luckily, and we just pounded hey, uh, Chelsea 4 hey, 1. Luckily for you, you're the richest club in the world. You can go buy 10 players in January. Um, Chelsea are crap, according to you. So you yeah, should be should, able to be there. That. Okay, so, so <coughs> let, let's move it on to what we think is going to be the honest top four. Are Newcastle still in, in, in? Yeah, because obviously we want to do top four predictions every week. <laughs> uh, are, Newca- <laughs> <laughs> are Newcastle still in your top four prediction? Yeah. They are even given everything you've just said and how much you're struggling and little old Newcastle you're trying to fight every game. Yeah. Uh, Such underdogs. You're, you're, you're fourth, are you? In yours. Um, I was two and four and we're third. A little That's bit. outrageous. I didn't know if we were going to finish above you. <laughs> Sh- should we do ours and then hear what his what? message is? <laughs> you're se- mental. You're seven points behind them. Uh, yeah, but I, I feel- still dropped 13 points last season, so you know what I mean? Oh, I feel off. mine is actually fairly honest. Yeah, but they've, they've, gonna... they've, they've already... <laughs> first last time. Yeah, but they've but already... I haven't done any yet. They've well, already dropped the nine. Yeah, I did. <laughs> nah, <laughs> you, the final third, they'll drop another 15 or something. It's Arsenal. Jesus. Do you think they're going to drop another 15? They'll drop, they'll go on a bottle screen. You know when man. someone has an agenda, he has an agenda. It's not, it's just what you do every season. It's called research. Every year, you bottle. You do. <laughs> it's called research. It's, <laughs> if you go, statistically, you bottle more than not. So it's fair to say this season, when you're doing well, you're probably going to bottle at the end. But we, we, we're not, we haven't done well yet. And we're still first. You're f- top of the league. Yeah, but I don't think we've played that well. Yeah, but you, of, you even said your performances are worse than Spurs. You will, you will bottle top of the league. It's what happens. What, it's just Arsenal. Just because you, you yeah, but you what happens you when we stop? What, what happens when we stop playing well? Wait, hang on a minute, Lewis. So City has bottled top of the league, have they? Huh? City this season have bottled top. No, league. City always showed no, that. They bottled it, man. They bottled top. No, of the well, league. let me respond. No, yeah, if, if City overtake Arsenal next respond. week, you want to come in pitch side next week and go Arsenal bottled it? Oh, I'll well, respond to that. City were poor the first half last season, and they came and passed you when you're 13 points clear. They're fucking Man City, the best team in the history. Exactly. You know I go up history. Lewis, do you know what happened? They won the treble. Yeah, Lewis, do you know what happened in that? The situation Arsenal bottled. <clears throat> we lost Saliba. 
<laughs> Damn. Arsenal lost their best player and also oh, lost the title to God. the best football team in the world. Well, Man City ever. have KDB out all this season. Should we just expect them to only finish fourth? Mate, their depth is beyond any depth in world football. You suck. What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> De, De Bruyne's out. Oh, don't worry. Good Bernardo Silva and Alfred's World Arsenal. Cup winner. Smart, You're Arsenal. Smart the, recruitment. <laughs> Unlimited bank account recruitment. They spent less than the majority yeah, of the team. You spent more than them in the last oh, five years. Mate, in the last 15 years. Come on, get over it. Oh, so you're going to go back 15, 15 years. years? Name one player from 15 years, years ago who's playing for City now. You weren't even supporting Newcastle 15 years ago. <laughs> you were a Leicester fan. Not 15 years ago, but a bit <laughs> earlier than that. City can afford way more wages for the bigger players. Don't even oh, start. They God. really oh, don't no, even Arsenal, start. Arsenal, Arsenal Mate, you're, have, say, no, you're acting Arsenal as if... Arsenal have no money. That's not what I'm saying. You're acting as if City's like depth is like should be fair than everyone else. Their, their wages, their funds enable them to buy a big, bigger players. Look at Harlem, for example. Same with Man United. Yeah, we're just forgetting we're, we're, the fact that they have 115 charges against them for... Yeah, they're going to go... They're going to get relegated. Like, yeah, but, but, no, but now until they, but now until they do, it's all acceptable. No. And when we have a discussion about whether or not they, they deserve you, the I'm amount saying, of players that they do... Play the, if I can't play the underdog card, you definitely can't play the underdog card. We're not the trying Man to play United the underdog the card. All we're trying to say is Man City squad depth has been unfair for a long period of time. So much so that they're going to go straight to Conference North when it gets found out. Out. Well, why is it unfair that they've recruited smartly? Is it smart? How much got... was Alvarez? 15 mil? It's not bad business. I'm is sorry, it? but I did say is it not bad recruitment if you're one Saliba injury away from dropping 13 point lead? I mean, yeah, that's, surely that's you. poor recruitment. Correct. No, Spurs had poor recruitment in the summer because they've got all their players out as well, to be fair. Wait, you draw lost one you player. Literally, you li you li one you, player. You, you literally one player said Spurs have to... the best recruitment this summer. What? They have? But they're all injured. <laughs> That's what well, you, you they've lost like nine. You oh, yeah, lost they one. They should have predicted that. There you go. They should have predicted they, they're yeah, they should, have, they should have got better subs. Yeah, exactly. That's what you're saying. Yeah, they should have got better no, subs. It's not, it's not no, they no, lost nine. They should have got better depth. You lost one but player. We have, we, we have strengthened for that. They depth. haven't That's spent fucking bought... 800 million like you have. <laughs> They've had one summer of, of replacing first team players, did, did it well, and then stupidly players got uh, either suspended or injured. I, I understand so why they've got like it. six first team Not players out. Team. You just need to accept that all your players did shake under the pressure. I'm sure they came out and admitted it. And that's what you'll but, do but this all, season. All we, no, but all we did this season is strengthen the overall squad. We bought Havertz for that situation. We bought Timber, unfortunately. Yeah. He's out for a long while. Um, yeah, forget about Timber. Yeah, the only one who's came in with backbone, is. really, is Rice. Like, I can't see Havertz <sighs> stepping up when times are tough at the end of the season. Mm. He's a Champions League winner, mate. <laughs> God. You have such an agenda. You have such an agenda. We wouldn't be first if it wasn't for Havertz. How's, That's a fact. How's it an agenda if you, you do, do you always have, bottle? You have this like hatred within you saying, bottle job, soft underbelly. You, you, have, you have this horrible agenda against you, you, Arsenal. You did bottle it that You did, year. though. Will you admit that you bottled? Anyways, my top four admit, prediction admit is this. I admit you bottled last season. No. So dropping thirteen point lead, <laughs> okay, so I would I would say no, it was eight. I would, it was eight. I would say I would say losing to the greatest Premier League side ever uh, is not bottling it. When your eight points clear, define a bottle then. Lap it until the last day of the season. United bottled it. <laughs> if Spurs forever. dropped eight points, how did United right, bottle against City when City were top? It's crazy. <clears throat> hey, Newcastle was shite. Um, <laughs> my top four is this. Go on, fourth. Man United. Oh, I was yeah. I, was I, I don't know. There's something, that, there's something that might be cooking. There's they, something they might they be cooking. They just win though, you know. Yeah, they get like mate. How are they hey, sick? They, how are they, they sick? Mate, they hey, put a serious string against I'll, together. I'll let you into a little cheap. secret. I've got them in fourth as well. They're above. How much have you been waxing lyrical about Newcastle this season? And yeah, how given, shit United given are. They're how shit above United you. are, and you're, you're like what? We'll, we'll, we'll see. Like, at do the you end forget the they've we'll won five out of their last six Premier League games. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They do just win. They're they ticking along, sheets. man. You, you, we've, we've all forgotten about them. Clean now sheets. they're all what? Clean six? sheets. They're sixth. They? They've Fifth? even got Anthony Martial scoring. It's pretty wild. Um, I, I will say this though, Villa. Outside chance, but they do have a tough run of games. If they get points off the bigger teams that they're about to play, <coughs> every no, chance. but I mean, like, obviously, I, I grant it's tough run of games, but you, you're talking about the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, no, like, but, but for example, games. in the next few games, they've got City, Arsenal, Brentford, and United, and then Newcastle as well in January. Yeah. But like, their big game is they get points off them teams who they have every shot, yeah. every shot of top four. Every quality, mate. Um, third, Liverpool, second, City, first, Arsenal. Honest. Honest, yeah. There's, but I think just the way Arsenal's defence has been cooking, get Timber back eventually, hopefully strengthen, get a striker, Ivan Tony, Douglas Louise in, Jan I, I, in January. I think, I think we're getting exactly those two players. If Saliba gets injured. If we, 
What if, happens? Who? Tony and Douglas Luiz. If we get both of those, yeah. is it fair to say that we could win the And I also game? think Arsenal get another centre-back in January. I, I, I think on paper, like logically, yes. I just go off history of seeing you not do it. You've seen oh, the so history you, so, of Arsenal. So, so, <laughs> so, you, <laughs> so you ignore that's logic not, that's fucking and go off history. history. Logic is <laughs> seeing what you do every season and ignoring, oh, these are good players, but actually, when times get hard, you do bottle it. And that is football era. Dude. You know, you also, think, so history so is you irrelevant. Do, so you think, you think no. Man City are going to... It is. Just, okay. It's four times in a row then. I don't see I had anyone else top. I've, okay. I won't reveal my list. <sighs> right. He really pisses I, me off. Yeah. I've got Man United in fourth as well. Liverpool in third. And I had to do this honestly because unfortunately that was the description of the segment. So I have Arsenal in second and Manchester City in first. I'm going all guns blazing. I'm going full Arsenal this season again. The reason why... Close think, last year. The reason why I think that is because Lewis makes a semi-good point in the fact that Kevin De Bruyne isn't even involved yet. Yeah. He's too busy now. He's too busy going to races <laughs> and Vegas. <laughs> he don't want to come back to play football. Yeah, but when he does, it's... No, he's a, got a new haircut. It's a long day. Man. He's a new haircut. He's, he's jetted off. He's out for the season. He's going on holiday. He's going Qatar. Okay. Yeah, bye, bye. Um, oh, and also, is it? Do Doku. I mean, he's, yeah, he's, just, pretty good, like. he's just starting to cook. Yeah, uh, fourth, I've got Tottenham. Third, I've got Liverpool. Second, Arsenal. Sorry, oh. third, Arsenal. Second, Liverpool. Third? First. First City. Third, oh, so wait, let me do the... So no, so United, Spurs, I thought you said... Spurs fourth, third, Arsenal, even though you guys bet yeah. on Arsenal well, to yeah, come we, we might have taken an L on that. I, I think we've right. lost that leg. But I, I, was ah. look, I was looking at Spurs' upcoming fixtures and other than, mm. other than City, I think... they got Newcastle in TV. No, I know, but after watching them yesterday, <laughs> I was actually surprised how decent they looked without all their players. And by the time they get all their players back... They've got a really nice room. When is Madison back? I think probably yeah. January. They, 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 him and Van der Ven. That's a lot of they games. They need to hold. In mate, if they don't hold that many, you know, if, yeah, there's loads is, of games man. in December. There's, there's, wait, they've without got three in a week. Without, without, white. with as their current team, obviously Romero and you, a doggy are only suspended. A doggy played. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Romero's only suspended yeah, though, yeah, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, I think they can win one, two, three. For five, Out they can easily win. No, five, <laughs> five of their next seven, because then their last game in, is the end of December. Then they haven't got a game until the 14th of Jan. Ben Tenko's out as but well, you, isn't he? Also, also, Son goes away for the weekend. Asian Cup. How long's he out for, though? I don't know. So, hey, that's ball knowledge right there. Mm. Kim Win Son away for the Asian when? Cup. January. Start of Jan. So, he'll be out for about four game weeks. So, Jeez. they don't have a striker matter, at that then. point. Don't matter. Just say so you know. Allison, I'll wait. But by then they'll have all their players back. But then they go away to international duty. Hmm. I, 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 I'm just not that worried based on their fit. They've got Everton, Forest, Everton, West Ham game, at right? home. They can beat them. They Bright, also, they're, okay. they're rubbish against low block teams though. Brighton, they and can Ball beat. doesn't do low block. Where do you think? I don't, uh, I don't expect them to beat Newcastle or City. But where do you think? Um, where do you think United finish? <sighs> I, I nearly put United fourth to be honest, but. Uh, I think they do. I think hey, they've lost Chelsea between, at home, between, between, away, between, Villa at home. Between Spurs, Villa, United, Newcastle, it's anyone's fourth, to be honest. I'm not strung on Spurs being fourth, but... Well, I'm, I'm glad we did your honest top four prediction if you think that four, <laughs> four I don't, teams are coming I, I, I have been honest, so I don't, I'm not, I don't really know, is the honest answer. You're a very honest man. I don't know. Uh, go on then. I was really battling in my head over Newcastle or Arsenal here, but I'm putting Newcastle fourth. <laughs> Uh, it depends how hard the bottle is well, at, at that point it might not matter because it could be top five because they're coefficient hang on yeah. a minute what yeah. do you mean battling between Arsenal and Newcastle I mean, well, will, will Newcastle third, finish right? above Arsenal I thought you were saying Arsenal don't make top four there oh no you'll, you'll make it you'll make a solid third um, because Man City then a second I think Liverpool could have a sneaky little uh, they, Liverpool they're Liverpool cooking the at the moment they yeah. actually are they're not going to win the league mate. Mate, I don't know you know I think they could do it they need, they need so, so genuinely because obviously this says honest, no no, no genuinely you genuinely honestly think Liverpool are going to win the Premier League it's just like it's a good segment at the end of the year if they do so you might as well commit to it think of it like no, this. I, no, if I someone broke think... into your house and said we're going to kill you and all your family tell me, unless you tell me the winner of the Premier League this season what would you say well this is the thing because like there's a percentage chance in your head but no, then no, it's no, also no, what no, you no, feel they've shot you by this point it's what you <laughs> <laughs> oh god please shut <laughs> <laughs> no I, I do I do just so you have the feeling I have the feeling for Liverpool City don't win it but the team that does is Liverpool not Arsenal 
Yeah. Why are you? How can you say that with a frown as if that's a ridiculous thing when Liverpool are the only team to stop City? And when you had your chance, oh. you bowled it. You're acting like that's a silly thing to suggest that the team that will stop I don't City think is I don't think, Liverpool. I don't think it's awful. It's, it's well, when, I, I, when, I when they had an eight point lead, they, they won it. Arsenal, exactly. uh, Arsenal did beat City and what, oh, Liverpool drew to City. You win the Premier League for that. <laughs> fuck up Newcastle, damn it. Shut fuck up. <laughs> so think, irritating. Wait, I don't understand your top four if you said you think Villa are... Uh, I, I think they're in the yeah, race. I, I, I think, think Villa are in a title yeah, race, yeah. but you don't and think they're going to finish top four? I think they'll drop out of the title race, but right now they're in it. I but eventually... <laughs> you just it. it. No. no I I right now they're in the race, but eventually they'll drop out the race and you're like, oh, right, they're not in anymore. I agree. I agree. No, from so being, in a being, top, being bro, no. genuinely honest, <laughs> really so does. are Arsenal in a title no, race? How does anyone listen yeah. to this? How <laughs> yeah, does anyone in. listen to this nonsense? They're in. The thing is, like, users just making out to be worse than it is. It's not ridiculous to say right now a team that's no. two points off the top. No, is but in a whole point race. of a title race. How is that stupid? Whole point of a title race is like it's a title race. Yeah, to the end of the season. The end of the year. That's like saying with your race scenario, they're in the race. Yeah, but, but how, so how they're running backwards? <laughs> so how how can I say right now, I right, Villa aren't in? If you the two Villa to be in a title race, then you should put no, them in your top just, four. You're just saying it from what you see. That's not. Yes, what, it, well, that's that, not what a prediction is. Yes, your prediction is. is to to use a bit of foresight and see what no, happened in the future. Not you, just go they're two points off. So yeah, they could. Do no, because I think whoever's <laughs> in, you're only out the race when you're out the race. Right now they're in touching distance, so they're in it. And that's as simple as that. Users right now because it's Villa. No, oh. we're not. You are having this like little big exactly. club. Do you remember you were just saying about how <laughs> how you use history to decide what would probably happen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, history, history shows that actually Aston Villa are progressing faster than even Arsenal. His, no, history shows Villa are not mm. in a title, right? What? History shows history that since show. Emery has taken over, they're one of the top performing teams in the league, mate. Yeah, still behind if anything, Arsenal when the, Emery's you know, there, they, have, they are in the race. So actually. why can't they finish top four then? Because I think I agree with Tom that there is going to be a very close <laughs> swap and forth. I put Newcastle there because I'm a Newcastle fan, but honestly, it's going to be really scary. So that's not your honest opinion. It's going to be scary. Yeah, it is. That's, that's well, no, anything it but honest. Scary. It just says you're biased. There's three. There's three, four teams <laughs> oh. you can have that there. I think Newcastle are going to do it, but it's scary. Like it's scary. It, it, top four is going to be irrelevant anyway. It's top five, isn't it? Not at the moment. I, I, on price. <laughs> no, but we'll have enough teams to go through the Champions League yeah, knockouts probably. for it to be top. Doesn't five. it need someone to win it? I don't know. Is, I, I thought it was getting to the last... Well, it's like pretty much guaranteed. Last that. stages, is it not? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, anyway. Anyway. <sighs> yeah, Louis with some honesty. Again, lost an incredible amount of brain cells. But hey, <laughs> it's time to check Super 6 now, guys. How did we do? Do you know oh, what? I did terrible. You know, I did really well. You know what's really annoying? 12 points. You know what's really annoying? Is I watched the uh, Aston Villa Spurs game Full well thinking that I had two one when it was you your it. it was your yeah, two one. <laughs> you know I was like, yeah, this is coming. Do you know what else is really annoying? Like, oh, I bet on a draw. <laughs> Do you know what else is really annoying? I had United to be Everton, and I was like, it's so obvious. And then you both idiots like convinced me. So, oh no, mate, away. No, no, it's good. Park is going to be a draw. I was like, oh yeah, that's. Oh, she can't think for yourself. It, but it's good logic though. They had a ten point deduction. <sighs> what was annoying though? Do you remember I swapped West Ham from two one to two nil during? The I put two one on. That's, I, so I got seven points because I got the West Ham score correct. Oh really? Other than that, I was. I got two. I got two correct scores this weekend. Yeah, what? Arsenal and Villa. I can't. I can't believe the Villa one. I was watching the, the entire rest of the game, being like, oh, I've got. I was going to put it in the chat and be like, boys, I got. I, got I, sh I then... should have had three with West Ham, but I changed. I've it. got six points. I got four. Where See, I you told guys... you I'm going to catch you. Where you. You obviously you've got points for Newcastle to beat Chelsea, though, right? Yeah, I had three nil. But... <laughs> So, um, in terms of league positions or overall point standings, guys, where are I'm we? I'm up to 100 points. I broke the three, the three-digit mark. Ooh, I'm at 140. Uh, I'm at Lewis. I'm at 130. No, what? I'm at 144. Oh, maybe I'm on more. I got 132 points. See, I, I, I can catch him. I'm telling you, I can catch him. 32 points. I can do that. If you catch him, that will be the biggest bottle. 147. Drive, sorry. Oh, you're only three behind. I'm fine. Mm. He wouldn't. He wouldn't take a bet with me the other day about it. When we no, because that bet would get me like. I, I, Mate, the guy in first in our league, by the way, is on two hundred three points. Three. Yeah, that's mad. <laughs> Shout out James Stretch. You I said to him, if I don't, again. if I don't catch him, ahead. I said to Lucy, if I don't catch him, uh, obviously he's thirty-two points ahead. Yeah. If I don't catch him, you can have a whole day on me. Take you shopping. I'll give you like a spend, <laughs> a spend limit. <laughs> and what? I'll, I'll take you for a three course meal. I'll take you out on the night. Everything what's all his, paid what's for. What's his? Well, I can't. Well, what's his retaliation? You won't bet? take it. Will I'm you? not going to do it. But what's I said, your bet? I, I said for, for for two shows, the first two shows of next season, you have to genuinely come on and stick to it for the two weeks. That you think Newcastle are going down? <laughs> I'm not doing that. Like. And, but I said, <laughs> mate, that's such an easy bet. And yeah. then I said to him, 
And then I said to him afterwards, after the two weeks, you can come out and say it was all a joke for a bit. Yeah. But he's like, no, no, man, they'll fucking cook me on night, man. I can't, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be finished. I can't be sitting saying Newcastle get relegated. Wait, you think they actually care about what you say anyway? <laughs> hey, I think, <laughs> I think, 